Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Clouds by Simon. I'm Simon. Back to you today with another review on some more hardware. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the Fat Rabbit RTA by Hellvate. Um, I have been using this for about a week. Um, yeah, not a bad little product, not a bad little RTA. Um, thought I'd... Uh, but I'll give it a test run, give you my thoughts on it, and um, go from there. So as you can see, packaging, we've got Fat Rabbit, breakdown on the side there, all the inclusions on the back, I'll get to that one in a sec, and just basically Fat Rabbit on the side, obviously all your scratch and sniff and barcode and make and colour and all that fun stuff there. On the back we have... Features a 28.4 diameter RTA, gives best vaping quality and massive cloud, dual airflows, dual airflow system for various air intake and air flows and, and flavors, sorry, postless build deck, blah, 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 single and dual configuration, quarter turn deck and top cap install and refill easily. Uh, changeable drip tip, all the usual. Um, parameters, 5.5mm tank, 810 drip tip. Top bottom airflow kit includes Fat Rabbit RTA, 5.5mm straight glass tube, set of NI80 fused Clapton coils, some shoelace cotton coil cutting tool, accessory bag, user manual, all the usual stuff. So, there we are. Enjoy your vaping. Enjoy your vaping genius. There we are. So, let's uh, drop the camera, open this up, and uh, show you all what we've got inside. All right. Here we have it. The Fat Rabbit RTA. Like I said, already been over the box, so it's not really a whole lot else to go over with that. Nice little orange box there. That comes up and your RTA will be displayed like so. You've got your extra little straight glass. Why that didn't include a bubble, I don't know. A bubble on something this tall might look a little bit strange, I suppose. Not 100% sure. We'll get him out of there. He's a bit tight. There we are. We'll come back to that shortly. We'll go over what else is in the box and I've already been over it with the packaging but uh, all right we've got a screwdriver coil cutting coil cutting tool whole bunch of o-rings some grub screws cotton coils user manual see how many languages we can learn with this one uh, what do we got Spanish French, German, and English. So there you go. You can uh, learn a few different languages if you're that keen. Don't need any of that as I'll be using other coils, other cotton, and all that to go with it. So we don't need that anymore. All right, let's have a look at the tank itself comes with a great big 510 drip tip sleep quarter turn we've got some nice little knurling around the top so in uh, hell hell vapes fashion they've stayed with that it's very similar to all the other uh, dead rabbits drop deads all that very similar side of things this massive concave sorry not concave massive Zero. Massive mountain in the middle there to go with this huge filling port. Look at that. Like, that is massive. That is deep. Like, it is huge. Massive holes. Um, Heaps of room there. Heaps of room. So going down from here, obviously that bit comes off. That bit unscrews. From there, we'll do a full breakdown of this, shall we? There's your, there's your glass, your top piece. Now that's reset in there. Like there's your O-ring. 
for your glass section. I don't know if I'm too keen on that or not. I reckon that could have been done slightly differently and you haven't got this great big black ring right in the middle of your tank. But, yeah, it works. I think it also comes in part with how deep this section here is. I had to put it somewhere, right? Anyway. There's your tank section, basically is your the, the inside of your tank section and your and your chimney as you can see the see the postless deck through the middle there. Now what we've got here is your juice flow holes. A couple of little holes either side for your juice flow. They're not huge. In my opinion they could be slightly bigger, but they work. Um, obviously you've got your top airflow adjustment there so your honeycomb style adjustment obviously same on both sides so that's for your top airflow that's just a locking either way you go and he goes so far as you can see we've got nice fat rabbit branding on that midsection and then the nice little fat rabbit bunny there otherwise known as the obese bunny. Um, all right, and then you've got your bottom airflow, which is just a solid open slot, which comes in under your coil through that nice little honeycomb section there. So we'll get this bottom off. Now this is rather tight, so I have actually uh, made it somewhat easier slightly for myself and not put it all the way on for the purposes of this review which is still very goddamn tight so it is a quarter turn on and off once you can get it on and off it is rather tight the o-ring in there definitely does its job by sealing that together Bear with it. there we go far out as you can tell that was rather tight so there is a little bit of residue in there I've just cleaned this up so there's your that hole there as you can see there's your juice flow there's your wicking sorry your, your, your juice flow ports and your top airflow comes in from there there's your there's your midsection with your little chimney section there. Also with that one is obviously, like I was saying before, your locking half uh, quarter turn, quarter turn locking. A couple of little pins. Where are we on the camera? So a couple of little pins just here and here will slide into the bottom. Will slide into your deck about there as you can see they drop in over that o-ring and then quarter turn around to be locked in so there's your postless deck nice and very easy to build on very easy to build on flathead grub flathead grub screws nice and simple recessed into the deck plenty of room there to put some nice size coils Nice size juice wells there for your cotton as well. Um, and some decent holes for all that cotton to soak up all that flavorful goodness. So what we're gonna do with this, gonna drop a build in it and uh, go up top and give it a toot. So like I said, I have been using this. So these coils are pretty much ready to go, but I'll put them all in and show you what we've got so I basically drop them down where'd me little screwdriver go just there actually I might turn him around obviously anytime you're playing with coils you want to make sure that you get all your hot spots out and all that no matter how many times you've pulled them in and out things can change I think, I believe, 
I recommend to cut these at about 5 mil will give you a good leg length into the bottom of that deck one thing I don't like about flatheads is they can tend to just stretch a little bit especially when you throw your atomizer across the room when you drop it under the desk don't recommend doing that then you got to go chasing the bloody thing all right we'll drop a second coil in bloody hell that's what you get when you do live uh live reviews eh the joys of the joys of live reviews without editing is anything can go wrong anything can happen get them in nice and snug where are they sitting All right, might have to, so these are a three mil coil you get your three mil coiling rod give them a bit of a lift up there and a bit of a recenter there we are nice little build so if we line that up with your middle section there and your airflow they should sit let's go sideways so that's how they're gonna sit they're gonna sit pretty much bang on that side airflow it's gonna go really well all right let's throw this on a mod double check all these hot spots just to make sure considering you know I've just thrown it under my desk and had to uh, realign things all right so that's they've aimed in exactly where I wanted them to which is good so we'll just turn him down just a touch get a little bit of heat into them sorry just so I can see what's going on there and as I thought I would have had a bit of a hot spot in that coil there which they're now both glowing from the inside out beautifully let's oh no i can't really shadow that can i here we go have a look at that uh, camera's showing one's a little bit quicker than the other but that's uh, that's the camera that's not the that's not the build <laughs> all right let's get some cotton into this as usual i'm using some muji that i've might let them cool down a touch before I put that cotton in there. Using some Muji, like I was saying, that I've already uh, pre-cut and rolled ready to go in. Which doesn't... Uh, doesn't feel like playing the game today. That's all right. We have another end which we can twist up and try again. Here we go. Nice. Not too tight. Not too loose. As they say, it's just right. Get this second one in. bunch up there that's all right that's gonna go just nicely all right cut off those ends we want to bring them down to about level with about level with the bottom of the bottom of the deck there all right just open them up just a bit tuck them In there that might actually be a little bit too much cotton actually it might be a little bit too tight so I might just pull them through 
that way. You can always cut off from the other side. Much easier to uh, do one side at a time. If you've got too much, too less, you can still pull some through or uh, take some out, add some, whatever that way you've, you know, much easier. You've still got all this to play with. Cut him off. Just sort of open them up a bit. Tuck him in there like so. Make sure that she's not too tight in that little well there. I don't want it tight, otherwise it's just going to restrict everything. All right, going to be vaping on some of my own butterscotch custard today. Put some juice in those wells there to get them started. Get these wicks nice and juicy. Obviously, I've over dripped a little bit there so some's run down the airflow which we'll have to catch that on the other side as it runs out the joys of building and uh, making a mess everywhere and like i said building live on camera you you tend to run into some of these issues all right let's get a bit of heat into these coils a bit Listen to that nice little nice little sizzle we've got going on there very nice all right now let's uh, see how much of that juice Ran out the uh, ran out the airflow there. Huh? Use a bit of cotton to soak up anything that's going to drip out, which doesn't look like there's going to be anything there. That's all right. Beautiful, no mess, wonderful. Now get this section back on. So, like I said before, it is rather tight. So we'll put it back together here on the mod. That just oh wow. I mentioned it was tight and it uh, slides in piece of piss first shot what are the chances hey sometimes things do work out on camera screw tank section back on some juice in there fill him up nicely wonderful as I said before they're uh, they've kept with a very similar style to previous dead rabbits drop deads um, the knurling for example We'll just get that one on there. Quarter turn. Quarter turn on. Yep, there we are. Quarter turn on. So, for example, the very first Dead Rabbit RTA, the knurling on that, they're pretty much identical. So is the blue, actually. The blue is very similar. <laughs> it's very, very similar color. Uh, obviously, that is a few years old now, so that may have faded over time with use. Um, the locking mechanism on the OG, obviously, we all know how much of a pain that was with that deck to get those pins lined up. Absolute nuisance of an RTA, that one. Um, wonderful RTA, except for you know, those couple of little things that uh, couple of little things that drove everybody insane. 
what I do like about that RTA is it came with a nice little blue drip tip. Let's get rid of this black one off here. Put this nice little blue matchy matchy. Wonderful. All right, let's take this up top and have a toot. All right, guys. So there we are. Fat Rabbit RTA by Hellvape. We'll pump him up a little bit. Get a little bit more power into him. There we are. Oh, the flavour on that is beautiful. Very airy with everything. A lot of airflow with everything right open. If we close off that bottom airflow, let's let's give that a crack. It's very whistly. Still a decent cloud, but very whistly. Let's open up that bottom one. Let's close off that top one. Let's see how we go bottom airflow only. Very restricted. Still a lot of flavor. Still a little bit of a whistle. A lot of flavor, as you can see, a lot of cloud production. What I've found to be the sweet spot for me with this one is too open on the top, fully open on the bottom. Beautiful cloud production, wonderful flavor, and just the right amount of restricted airflow. Just the right amount of airflow. Uh, not that I'm a, not that I'm huge on restricted airflow, but uh, that just sort of cuts it back that little bit. Um, you know, I run my fat uh, my Fatality M25 QP with the top airflow turned off. I run it bottom airflow. I find that very nice. I find this one nice with the top half down. Or half closed. So there you have it, guys. There's the Fat Rabbit RTA by Hellvape. It is very nice. I went with the blue. Something a little bit different to the rest of my gear. Obviously, you saw the blue dead rabbit there before. Um, I like Hellvape's blue. It's a nice blue. It's a good color. Um, it is a wonderful tank. Like I said, I've been using it for the last week. I'm going to continue to use it. It's in my daily rotations. It's a beautiful tank. Anyway, guys, as per usual, subscribe, like, notifications, all that wonderful stuff that we all do to support our viewers that we enjoy watching. So please do that. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Please don't give it a thumbs down because we all should like everything that we watch. There we have it, the fat rabbit. Anyway, guys, I'm Simon. This is Clouds by Simon. Stay safe. Keep it cloudy.